Well, let, let, me, let me speak on, on behalf of Norway. We have adopted a comprehensive management plan for the northern waters. And that sets a very clear barrier on where we go when we go north. When I grew up, uh, there was a kind of, an, uh, as a kind of a green environmentalist at the time, there was an absolute demand that we should not go north of the 62nd parallel because we feared we didn't have the technologies to do so. Now we are up above, um, uh, much further north. Um, but our approach has always been to do that stepwise. And I can tell you, uh, for if you, if you look at the Arctic and then talking about the polar area, I think that is far down the road, uh, if ever, that that will open up. Even if the ice is melting, let's be clear, there is still going to be a lot of ice, a lot of drifting ice, a lot of harsh weather, and extremely long distances to any market. So these uh, estimates about reserves, 25% uh, may be in the circumpolar Arctic region. Uh, I cannot give a green light on those exact figures, but I think you know uh, they will be pretty down the line in terms of being accessible resources. And as the question was posed by, by the Norwegian lady here uh, from the magazine, um, uh, I think I would rally what President Obama said. There should be absolute limitations according to the vulnerable regions. Now we have a debate in my country about that region and that region. That decision will have to be taken on a very informed uh, uh, basis. The fact about the Arctic is that it is an ocean with coastal states around. So there are economic zones and there are continental shelves. And there are regulations adopted by the law of the sea. But I think the work we do in the Arctic Council, the evidence we bring onto the table, as we have done today and tomorrow, should inform governments to, ex to apply the extraordinary precautionary principle in the way they move ahead, the technology they use. And just to use an example of Norway and Russia, we now have a deepened cooperation on, on the standards that should apply to activities in the Barents Sea, which we have to lift and push uh, forward constantly. Uh, and uh, I'm confident that that will also guide our approach to, to, to other areas in this region.